I'm Stephanie Wong, Aparna Sinha, Group Product Manager for Google Cloud joins us now. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for having me, Stephanie. So we actually know that you have a spotlight session named Bringing the View the Future of the Cloud today. Before we jump into that, I'd actually love to get your thoughts on the main keynote from today. I thought the main keynote was excellent. There were three things that stuck out at me. One, just all of the proof points around enterprise readiness in Diane's talk. And then the number of customers that are speaking at this conference with us, it's really a testament not just to our technology, but also to our sales readiness and our professional services capability. Secondly, I really enjoyed the talk by SAP and by Cisco, our closest partners. Uh, and then lastly, close to my heart, of course, is Orz's keynote where he announced GKE on-prem. That's truly breakthrough technology, the first of its kind by any cloud provider. So now we actually would love to hear a little bit more about your spotlight, bringing you the future of the cloud. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, so I often get the question, you know, Kubernetes has been so successful, what's after Kubernetes? And it's a tough question because indeed, you know, whether you're playing a game or watching the election or shopping at a, at a retail outlet on the web, you know, you're a user of Kubernetes. So it's really had far reaching impact and it's hard to beat that. But uh, Ken Goldberg and I will be talking about what's next in our spotlight session. We'll be talking about the integrated stack between Istio and Kubernetes and how to run that in a heterogeneous multi-cluster environment between on-prem and cloud. That's new and I think it's something that is revolutionary for customers because it allows them to modernize where they are with what they have and move to cloud at their own pace. We will be doing three live demos to demonstrate how far we are on the spectrum with the technology and the product. Very exciting. So as a group product manager for Kubernetes, how do you see our managed Kubernetes offering differing from the others that might be out there? Yeah, I think that the game has really changed. It's not just about a managed Kubernetes offering. It's really about a full stack solution that allows your developers to be productive, building uh, differentiated applications for your, for your business, and allows your operators to control the environment at scale across on-prem and cloud. Kubernetes is a piece of that, but then Istio and all of the solutions, serverless, machine learning, uh, CICD, the solutions that are built on top of that for hybrid, that's really now the new playing ground. So our viewers, as they might know, um, Kubernetes is open source. Why do you think open source is important to Google and what are we doing to contribute to the space? Open source is a great source of innovation and it's a great source of user intimacy. Open source is software that a user can take and make it their own and it's something where what they see is what they get. Working in open source for Google and, and, and personally for me brings me closer to the user. It allows me to partner with them, to understand them, and vice versa, to build a relationship. That's why we value open source so much. Excellent. So for someone who might be getting started in containerizing their environment, um, how can they get started with GKE? And is there a certain application development environment profile that GKE is best fit for? So GKE is really a general purpose platform. You can run any kind of application from, uh, of course, stateless web services to batch processing to machine learning to serverless applications to also uh, stateful services like uh, MySQL or you know, uh, stateful databases. Uh, the only requirement really is that you write your application in the form of microservices. And it doesn't have to be super granular, but it has to be somewhat uh, written in the way that it can run on distributed architecture. That's how you get the maximal benefit from GKE. But on the whole, customers are using it across all industries, retail, um, uh, media, gaming, financial services, healthcare. It's a pretty general purpose platform. Well, I think that's exciting news for everybody else out there. I think that's all the time we have. So really appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much. Thank you.